Hi, shiny people. Rawr. Welcome to another episode of Weird Things and Coffee. For this episode of Weird Things and Coffee, I am going to put... Do you know what this is? No, it's not guacamole. This is wasabi. The, well, I mean, technically it's like 95% horseradish and mustard and 5% wasabi. That, that's powder, and then you add the water to mix it in with... Yeah, wh whatever. So, it, basically, it's artificial wasabi. We all know this. And that is actually quite a lot. I'm going to try and not put all of that in my coffee, because that would be silly. That would be extra silly. Let's just put our coffee in a coffee cup. And here's the wasabi. Go in. Oh shoot. It looks like it got all of it. Well, I'm definitely going to be sipping this coffee one tiny sip at a time. There we go. As you can see, it, it sort of changed a little. Oh, phew. yeah, I just, I just inhaled some of that, and that's, this is definitely going to be quite the spicy wasabi coffee. All right, um, wish me luck, wasabi and coffee. Okay, good. I didn't take too big of a sip there. quite a bit of wasabi. Let's try again. Okay. Yep. Well, let's just say... I already did a video of horseradish, didn't I? Oh, that was horseradish mayo. That would, yeah, okay, horseradish mayo. Different than horseradish wasabi. But it is similar, and um, it is definite. It does definitely has that kick to it. It doesn't make the coffee inedible. I kind of like the kick of wasabi. I keep saying wasabi. I kind of like the kick of horseradish, and the flavor of it as well. It doesn't. It doesn't enhance the coffee. In fact, I would say for people who enjoy coffee. Definitely don't put this in here, because it definitely distracts you from the coffee flavor. Yes, definite distraction from the coffee flavor. But, if you like wasabi, then maybe try it. Try it for the little kick. The aftertaste kick. Alright, so anyways, don't forget that you are a shining star. And leave a thumbs up and have a good day, alright? Bye-bye.